With the start of the MLB season coming in just a couple of days, these are my personal top 10 players entering the 2024 season. Kicking it off at number 10 is young phenom Julio Rodriguez of the Seattle Mariners who is entering his third season with the Major League Club. Julio is just a dynamic talent on both sides of the field that makes some plays that only a few others could around the league. Rodriguez obviously has impressive power speed mix, but both are at an elite level while also keeping his average and walk rate at a respectable clip. In 2023, Julio managed to smash 32 homers and steal 37 bases while also hitting 275. These are very clearly superstar level numbers and when you pair them with plus defense, it's obvious how Julio cracks the top 10 here. He could very well go 40-40 this season and enter my top 5 for next year and I honestly would not be one bit surprised. Now we move to my first and only pitcher cracking the top 10 and that is Atlanta Braves sensation Spencer Strider. I believe that with the injury to Garrett Cole, Strider is far and away the best pitcher in the MLB entering 2024. He has an electric fastball as well as an elite slider that has given him the game's best strikeout ability over the past couple of seasons. Last year, Strider struck out a remarkable 281 in 186 innings while also maintaining a really strong walk rate. Yes, he did have a 3.86 ERA to go along with those numbers, but Strider suffered a ton of batted ball luck. As crazy as it sounds, I expect that number to dip by an entire run as Strider finishes with an ERA below 3 this season with 300 strikeouts a real possibility. Moving on to the number 8 spot, I have who I believe is the most underrated star in the MLB and that's outfielder Kyle Tucker. Tucker is an absolute monster both at the plate and in the field with numbers that prove he's a superstar any way you slice it. I mean, this is a guy who just hit 29 homers with 112 RBIs to go along with a 284 average. Oh, and he also stole 30 bases while very rarely striking out. The craziest part you may ask, Tucker did all of this while hitting 5th and 6th in the order. This season, he's penciled in as a number 3 hitter, so expect those numbers to skyrocket further. He may still be underrated at the moment, but I bet you he won't be by season's end. Now we move to World Series champion Corey Seager, the shortstop for the Texas Rangers. Simply put, Seager flat out rakes. He's arguably the league's strongest pure hitter as he hits for monster power while almost always fighting for batting titles on a consistent basis. His 33 homers in just a quarter of the season to go along with an absurd 327 batting average speaks for itself and we all know how he fared in the playoffs. The one thing keeping Seager from entering the top 5 is obviously his durability but other than that he has no other knocks against him. World Series MVP is nothing short of spectacular as he leads another strong Texas lineup into what they hope will be a repeat at the conclusion of the 2024 season. Juan Soto, the newly acquired New York Yankee, comes in at just outside the top 5 at number 6. One of the greatest hitters on the planet, Soto excels at almost every area inside the batter's box. His play discipline in terms of walking ability is second to none and he also offers elite power as well. Soto is as durable as they come, playing in all 162 games in 2023 and hitting 35 homers on the year. It's also notable that Soto hit poorly at Petco Park last year with just a 240 average versus a 300 average on the road. I can envision a 2024 that sees Soto mashing over 40 homers to go along with an average over 300 on his way to an MVP caliber type season. Now we move into the top 5 and at number 5 is superstar first baseman Freddie Freeman of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Freeman is simply a model of consistency amongst the league, always hitting for an average around 300 while popping 20 to 30 homers annually. He's also always on the field having missed just 13 games in the past 6 seasons. He comes up big with runners in scoring position, takes walks at one of the best rates in the league and is sneaky on the bases. I really don't think that Freeman is below average in any area in terms of hitting and he's known around the league as one of the better defenders at the position. I personally think we see another typical Freddie Freeman type season again in 2024. At number 4 here I have two-way superstar Shohei Otani, the new Los Angeles Dodger. Now I want to make it clear that Otani would very clearly be my number one player on this list if he was able to pitch this year, but since that's not the case, he falls to four in these rankings. Shohei put together a huge 2023 season that included 44 homers and almost a combined 200 runs plus RBIs. He also managed to hit for the highest average of his career at 304 while reaching base at his highest clip at 412. Now joining the Dodgers, Otani is likely to produce even better numbers with strong protection around him with the likes of Freeman, Betts, and Smith. Entering the top three now in these rankings is slugger Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees. As we all know, Judge is just a freak of nature. At 6'7", Judge brings a different kind of intimidation into the batter's box. 
Almost always among the leaders and homers, Judge obviously has monster power, but he's also worked on his approach and is now a batting average threat as well. Earning tons of praise for his bat, Judge's defense can often go under the radar as he clears tons of ground in the outfield and has a cannon for an arm. Similar to some others on this list, Judge has a hard time staying healthy, but when he's on the field, his talent and production is just about as elite as it gets. Coming in at the runner-up spot, I have the third Los Angeles Dodger on this list, which is Mookie Betts. Betts is a remarkable talent and one that is supremely athletic to describe him simply. He basically never has a bad year and is almost always an MVP conversation. That was again the case in 2023 which saw him hit 39 homers while maintaining an elite 307 batting average. Betts rarely strikes out, has a strong walk rate, and is an absolute menace on the bases making him one of the more complete superstars in the league. He's even smoothly transitioned to shortstop for 2024, something that many athletes can never just do out of nowhere. Betts will once again be in MVP talks for 2024. And finally, earning the top spot and my personal number one player in all of the MLB is none other than Ronald Acuna. It's hard to argue that with Otani unable to pitch that Acuna doesn't occupy the top spot as the best player in the major leagues. He had a season for the ages in 2023 posting 41 homers, 73 stolen bases, and a league leading 149 runs to name just a few remarkable numbers. He also took a major stride last season, cutting his strikeout rate in half, which led to a career-best 337 average. Leading off for the loaded Atlanta Braves offense, I'm expecting no different this upcoming season as he remains my favorite for the MVP with likely another huge campaign on the way. And with that being said, that wraps up my top 10 MLB rankings for the 2024 season. Let me know in the comments what you agree or disagree with. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.